On December 20th, 2023, I finished my last final exam and officially graduated from the University of St. Thomas in St. Paul, Minnesota, with a degree in environmental science. The past four years at this school have transformed me as a person. There were some ups and downs, as with every college experience, but I can say with stone-cold certainty that I am a much more well-rounded individual than I was coming in as a freshman. I also had the pleasure of getting to know some pretty incredible people along the way. So I just wanted to thank everyone who was there for me the past four years. I'll be starting a field research position at a Boulder, Colorado in a couple of months. But before that, my dad and I decided to make the drive back a bit more of an adventure. The way we usually drive from Minnesota to Colorado is a straight shot through the flattest states in the country. But this time we would be heading a different way and taking our time driving through the Northern Rocky Mountains. We didn't have time to do any crazy hikes because we needed to be back home by Christmas Eve but it was still an amazing adventure that I will never forget. This is the scenic route. The first day of driving after we left campus was quite boring, just heading northwest to stay our first night in Dickinson, North Dakota. But the day after that was when the topography really started to get interesting. Our destination this day was Big Sky, Montana, and our first stop on the way was Theodore Roosevelt National Park. We had the entire park to ourselves for the morning, which was nice, and then spent the rest of the day just heading west. Good morning. It's not our proper road trip without a nice meal in Cracker Barrel. Give me a three. We just made it to the Wilson Hotel in uh, Big Sky, Montana. There's my dad over there. Got some nice mountain views here. The next morning, we slept in and then got all ready for our shortest leg of the trip. Our destination this day was Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and we planned to spend some time exploring the town once we got there. So we hit the road right away, only stopping for some short sightseeing along the way. We're on our way to Jackson Hole, Wyoming today. We got about four hours in the car, but we figured we'd stop at this river, just enjoy the scenery for a little bit. It's really pretty. just made it to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. We are taking a little hike down to the Snake River. We've got mountains all around us. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> what are you thinking of? Oh my gosh, that was insane. River Brewing in Jackson, Hawaii. I 
got the white bean dip. What'd you get? Chili with a lot of meat. Sounds good. We're gonna dig in. Did you call it? Hey, she's trying to give you a... There it is! For the last day of the trip, we woke up early and skipped breakfast to hit a short hike in Grand Teton National Park before heading straight home. This day had the longest drive of the trip with one half of it through blizzard conditions and the other half through the middle of nowhere. We decided to go on a spontaneous little hike to break up the long drive home in Grand Teton National Park. Everything is really snowy. It's really nice weather, very quiet. My dad's keeping it classy with the San Pellegrino. We are uh, about five hours away from home right now. Um, we just stopped to get out of the car and move our legs a little bit, but we are in the middle of nowhere. I'm your big brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so cute. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey. <laughs> Look how big you got, buddy. <laughs> Look how big you got. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You got so big. <laughs> you hold him, I, I gotta go see this. That was the best I could do. That's so cool. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Welcome home. Hi, buddy. Come back. Here, you'll stand for a minute.
very strong. <laughs> Good night.